And this is a, another tank that I have, a community tank. It has Plecostomus, Coolie Loach, um, Petricola catfish, those are two large males right there swimming behind the angelfish. Angelfish, the uh, Laotian loach there in the front there. And uh, they're all expecting me to drop some food in here. And I'm going to, I have a handful of shrimp pellets in my hand and I'm going to drop some carp eggs in. And uh, I'm going to let you see all the fish come out. I'm going to have to not move real fast. I'll put a string of those out like that and then start filming with my uh, left hand. Put some carp eggs in like that. That's what the angelfish really love to eat. And I'll put some carp eggs in over there. I hope to let you see quite a few of the fish that are in this tank. I'll try zooming in without moving. The zebra loaches are coming out right now. You see them in the Laotian loach. These are some really beautiful loaches that have ended up being being uh, really excellent uh, aquarium pets. They're very secretive, you know, as are the. Uh, there's a nice looking one there. Oh, and there's one of the coolie loaches. <laughs> that coloration isn't exact, is not at all like a, a normal coloration. There are no cherry shrimp in this aquarium. These are some of my larger. Uh, Petricola catfish. I think they're over four inches long. I try to put in lots of hiding places for them so that they uh, can, you know, swim and hide and feel comfortable and at ease. I think that it uh, gives them a, a lot more opportunity to uh, thrive and do well. The angelfish, <laughs> they're a uh, pretty much crowded in here. There's six of them in here now. Um, I try to keep the water around 80 degrees. Um, I think that I think there are like five coolie loaches in this aquarium. However, with all the hiding places they uh, are not always visible. The angelfish are some that I raised from uh, babies. Uh, I hatched some eggs a couple years ago and uh, these are some of my uh, more beautiful angelfish that I raised. I traded them off at other stores for uh, other kinds of fish and plastic plants. I don't grow real plants in my aquariums very much because I don't have enough light uh, to grow many plants uh, in a satisfactory manner. I mean, they just sort of starve for light. And when you got a plant that needs uh, action of chlorophyll and sunlight, they just simply uh, don't do well. 